So I just got the product myself, uh, the Elite, which I, I've, I I didn't have any former ones, but everyone says it's it's super. It's been the quietest one. I don't have anything com to compare it to, but uh, it seems quiet for me. Um, I play a lot of tennis, a tremendous amount of tennis, and mm -hmm. typically it's like I'm I'm stretching for hours after in order to keep playing. We're doing like two hours every single day. Yeah, and and it's pretty intense. But when I got the Theragun, it was the first time that I felt at least the next day great it was like i woke up i wasn't sore my feet didn't hurt stepping on you know getting off the bed stepping on the ground which was shocking to me but any anything you can just share with us about why it works i've certainly felt the effects but i can't explain it to anybody well just a little background on that when i first started doing this i had buckets full of anecdotal experiences you know i could go down the list of I worked on Sloan Stevens and I went to the, to Indian Wells and, and I, I, I the, the, one of the trainers, I was in there working on her and one of the trainers slid the, the curtain back. You got to get out of here. That thing's too damn noisy. Um, <laughs> but I, it was those experiences that I kind of led to these different opportunities, if that makes sense. And watching this happen with an athlete and then taking that same thing and watching it happen in my clinic, I started realizing like there's something happening here but I couldn't Google it. And, and if you Googled percussive therapy, you know, four or five years ago, there wasn't anything on the market. So I didn't really have a lot of science to lean on. I was watching what happened and because I was a chiropractor and I got to work in these fields, I felt like I kind of had a mobile lab. You know, I'd, I'd go from my clinic and I'd work in my clinic on everyday people. And then in 2013 and 14, I was working with NASCAR, Richard Petty's race team. And I would fly to the race, work on the team, work on the driver. And they're saying the same thing that my clinic patients are saying that aren't really active. And I'm thinking, what is this? So, you know, innovation always leads science because you're always innovating and then you have to validate it later on. Yeah, I didn't know that concept, but I, that's what was happening. And I just sort of proved Tesla did it, Benjamin Franklin did it. They just make these things and then they have to come back and validate it. So that's what we did. We we made this stuff and now I have this collection of, of theories. And so when I first started doing this in 2016, we launched our first study with USC and USC compared us to some of the other products on the market. And they said we were significantly better at increasing blood flow, which increases oxygenation and increasing the body's ability to move or stretch or range of motion. Man, that was so valuable to me at the time. Fast forward now, we have 22 studies with different academic institutions around the world validating the science. So now with that understanding, I'm super proud to say that we've created more science than a lot of other companies, any other company in this space. And we lead, our products are scientifically validated. It, and, and I can say that, whether I'm talking to Johnny Peacoat, who's the head trainer for Man U, or the head trainer for Arsenal, or Gunnar Peterson, or the guy that's in charge of the Patriots, they ask, what's the science? So what it does basically when you say that is our bodies break down. Lactic acid is toxins that sit inside your body, and those toxins will, will eat away. I'm just making this really simple. They'll sure. eat away at the tissue. So when you wake up in the morning, you have to get the blood flowing to get rid of that lactic acid or that first, second, third day burn you have. When you work out, you break down tissue, the toxins are left in your body. What Theragun does is three things. It's hitting your body at a speed that actually overrides the pain signals to your brain, so it's not painful. You're hitting the tissue, it's going deep enough into the tissue that it's causing something that's called mechanotransduction, which is mechanical heat. So now it, that heat draws blood there and when you bring blood to that area, you're bringing oxygen. Oxygen and lactic acid, for lack of a better term, oxygen and lactic acid cannot be in the same space. So when you bring oxygen in with new blood flow, it pushes the lactic acid out. They, they can't live together. So now you have clean, pure oxygen to that area. Now your body can heal. The last thing and one of the most important components, our body cannot recover unless we are in parasympathetic state. Parasympathetic state is rest and digest. And when you're using this on your body, it's calming the nervous system and telling your brain, go to rest and digest and let's heal now. So the very best, 
I remember I had an NFL guy. I, I won't say his name because I don't like kissing and telling, but I worked on an NFL guy and he was getting ready for camp. And the first day I worked on him really deep after a workout, he came back the next day with his eyes like this. He's like, dude, I don't even feel sore. And that's one of the best sales techniques I've had is just let me do this to you and tell me how you feel tomorrow. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.